off. Diane King Hall joins us from uh, the NYZ. Good morning, Diane. Let's talk some Tesla. Our first big tech story of the week here. Uh, prices changing for the Model Y. Yeah, this is no April Fool's joke uh, for you, Oliver. So yes, Tesla, the price of the Model Y is now higher starting today. It increases by a thousand bucks. So the base model approaches 45,000 now. now. Uh, if you're talking about the performance or long range, long range now nearly 50,000 performance model means it tops 53,000. Uh, so Tesla had warned that these price hikes were coming. They warned about uh, within the past month that the price increase was coming for the Model Y uh, SUV. It's not just in the U.S. where it's raising prices. Overseas in China, prices of this vehicle have increased as well. And, you know, keep in mind, we've got this price war going on in China when you talk about uh, electric vehicles. So it's stiff competition over there. Now, prices have been higher before. This is not the highest the Model Y has been, but Musk had been increasingly reducing the price to try and uh, increase demand. It remains to be seen if the demand numbers will look better for Q1 when you compare them to, say, Q4, uh, especially even a, a year over year basis. Uh, in the in Q4, uh, Tesla delivered 484,000, more than 484,000 vehicles. But it remains to be seen again if these incentives, the previous price decreases helped drum up more demand. Expectations are pretty muted for the demand picture there in terms of the year over year basis. And uh, the expectation is actually uh, year over year decline uh, when we look at uh, deliveries for Q1 uh, compared to the prior year Q1. In terms of the stock reaction, the stock is pretty muted in the pre-market. It's just a little above the flat line, but not much reaction uh, so far. And keep in mind, Tesla has been uh, underperforming this year. It's the worst performer in the S&P 500 down. Uh, more than 29%, nearly 30% year to date. When you look at it on a year over year basis, the stock is down uh, about nearly 10%. So it's had a rough year. And, you know, we've had those continued questions about should it be a part of this MAG 7? Is it even a MAG 7 anymore when you look at what has occurred with Tesla? But again, this price increase is on the table now for the Model Y. Tesla had warned that this was coming. Uh, the highest level it's been before was about 58,000, and that was back in 2022. And then I want to tell you about some of the analyst reaction today and, and what analysts are saying now about Tesla. Wells Fargo has added it to its short list, basically. It causes its tactical ideas list, but it, it looks at it in a downbeat way. Uh, Wells Fargo saying seeing downside risk for Tesla, um, it, it, it's adding it to this 2024 tactical ideas list saying we see moderating delivery growth driven though by lower demand. There's expected to be a diminished return on those price cuts. It's not the only one that is concerned about Tesla. You have Wedbush saying that first quarter delivery signal a quote nightmare quarter mm. for Elon Musk company. Uh, so, you know, they talked about that demand issue that it's having in China because, again, you have all that competition happening there and the price wars happening there. Uh, it's saying that, you know, uh, again, the biggest and most concerning issue for Tesla remains China, Oliver. Well, the uh, negativity uh, going into tomorrow's mm -hmm. delivery numbers is palpable here, but I guess yep. at least it drops the bar somewhat. Sounds like expectations are finally quite low. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, and I mean, again, uh, one other analyst, no HSBC had uh, recently, you know, been on the downbeat side when it comes to Tesla. It reiterated its reduced rating. It sees 143 price target. So it's seeing that, you know, it's more room to go lower in terms of where Tesla shares are. Uh, and when you compare that to today, I mean, the stock is around one. Let me look at where it is at this moment. Uh, it's at, at around 175 before the market opens today. So uh, HSBC expecting that stock to fall further. All right. So far, not a lot of response this morning to some of the negative tone, no. but uh, maybe we're waiting for the numbers tomorrow. So thanks uh, for the heads up and Indeed. the details on the price change for the Model Y. All right. Thanks, uh, Diane King Hall.